welcome back to my channel guys and i'm really excited about today's project because it includes wine succulents and herbs literally three of my favorite things <laughs> and i'm going to upcycle some of the mini empty cell rose bottles that i have and turn it into a succulent herb garden that i'm gonna grow indoors in my kitchen um i have a lot of these bottles I'm not proud of it, but it's my favorite wine, so you can go judge your mama. The goal is to try and use six, but I think I'm only gonna have space for five. And then somewhere down the road, we'll find something to do with the rest of them. But today, this is what we're doing. So I'm using my heat gun to heat up the paper labels so that they peel off without leaving any leftover paper. And the bigger bottles, the labels are painted on, and I don't feel like trying to figure out how to get that off, so I'm just gonna paint over it. And this is a paper template that I made to mark where I want to cut the hole in the bottles and how big I want them to be. So I'm having to do my least favorite thing in the middle of a project, and that is leave and go get more supplies. I'm on my way to Lowe's because I do not have the diamond wheel Dremel bit that I need in order to cut the glass. Um, I do have some, but it's gonna take forever using those because they're small and I use them for engraving. Oh, that plant. I just wanna go in and get the blade and go home. I don't wanna buy any plants. But I'm going to, no, I'm not, because I'm strong. But they got those. I mean, how I know what I don't need if I don't know what they have, right? Right. Okay, I'm only going to buy two. We found it. Okay, so I'm back. And in order to cut the glass, it should be done under running water to keep the glass cool and the blade. I don't have a cordless rotary tool, so just know my cords are safely wrapped up far behind me and I am being mindful to make sure the water doesn't get in or on the rotary tool itself, just really the glass. And I am wearing goggles and a mask because the dust you see guys is glass. So keep that in mind. The bottles are a lot thicker at the bottom. So it took some patience and you do want to go slow. You don't want your blade spinning, spinning too fast. You don't want to put too much pressure because you don't want to crack it. Now, if you crack it, it's not a big deal. I mean, we're upcycling anyway. Just super glue the bottle together and keep going. So I'm sanding the edges to clean it up, make it look nice and neat and not sharp. And all of the bottles are gonna get a base coat of white spray paint. And then I'm gonna tape them off in various patterns and mix it up with some gray and blue so that it matches the rest of the decor in my living room slash kitchen. So we're gonna use these planks for our wine rack. They are three feet long, the longer pieces and the shorter pieces are a foot and a half. Um, and we're just staining them. So I'm gonna secure the two smaller planks between the longer ones um, using two screws on each side, so eight screws total. And I'm just measuring out where I'm going to have the bottles lay on the rack. Um, each bottle requires two holes on each side and we're going to thread rope through and that's how the bottles are gonna hang. So 
So once I have my holes drilled, I start threading through the rope and double knotting it in the back so it doesn't come out. I want the rope to be tight enough to hold the bottles, but loose enough to be able to get them in and out. And once I double knot it in the back, I used hot glue to fasten them um, in place just to add a little bit more security. It's not like the knots are gonna pull through, but I wanna make sure that they stay knotted and that the ends don't end up frayed. So this is what it looks like. And now that the bottles are dry, we can pull the tape off. I like this part. So in my smaller bottles, I'm putting succulents, kind of spaced out so they have a little space to grow. And in the larger ones, I'm putting herbs. And once everything's planted, I can just slide it in the rack. I think it turned out pretty cute. And now I can hang it in my kitchen. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.